Well, yes, once again, I gotta do it. But, uh, you know, they're not gonna give me a bus or a limo. No, they're gonna not let me have a plane. I gotta take a boat. Huh. And Garrett, yeah, he gets treated just fine. He gets to fly in a plane. First class. Look at him, he travels light. You know, other people, you know, he's gonna show up and all his gear is gonna be waiting for him. You know, it, unlike me, I've got to bring everything and do it myself. Shit, I didn't even have enough room where I could put shoes on my feet. But I'm so dedicated to the craft, I'll do it. Ugh. So, I'm on my way, and I'm going to meet Garrett there, too. You better hurry. One thing I got to do, What are you doing up so early? I have to feed the, 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 the horses that come to the water mill. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm flying out today. Hmm. Flying out to where? Going back home, Florida. Are you? Yeah. Gonna do some jamming and stuff, you know. Yeah, I played guitar. You know, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, well, look, you know, here I gotta leave this hellhole in some shitty ass boat. And this guy, he gets to travel first class. Look at him, taking his time. Yeah, you know, look at him, look at him. Oh yeah, well, he's got friends, you know, look at him. Oh, people notice him. Boring. So, there I am. Under the clouds. <laughs> Under the clouds, I... seen from sea to shining sea, north and south, east to west. When it rains, I see the power of Mother Nature from the ground. Up in the clouds, which I hardly ever get to explore. It's like vast islands. The clouds go in the other way. It's like vast islands in the Caribbean area or even the thousand islands that I've seen from the ground entering Canada and New York. The thousand islands where you get to Canada, the entry there just before. It's called the thousand islands and uh, flying above the clouds makes me realize that yes, this is definitely a planet even though you're not touching it. And to fly the friendly skies, which isn't the logo of the airline I was on, but the airline I was on, there was a real smooth takeoff and times have changed since my last airplane flight and my ascent towards the heavens. Upon landing, I look around for my hometown. Um, my phone died just as I saw the area from which I was from, I noticed interstates, highways, lakes, rivers I have fished in while on the ground. So, after being on the ground for 31 years and underneath the clouds, it was nice to be on top of the clouds. <laughs> it was great to be high, per se. That being said, that's the highest I've been in a long time. Upon landing, it was safe and secure, but I remember the afterburner sound. <laughs> kind of reminded me of an engine brake. Of course, <laughs> that's what it actually is on an airplane. On a boat, if you don't float, you fucking die. I ain't kidding. That shit's for real. I'd rather be in a plane. To me, it feels safer. I don't know. Sorry. It just does. You know? But on a fucking boat, man, it's hopeless. If that shit's gonna sink, you're gonna fucking die. You're gonna fucking drown. Now, these are the things I think of when I'm smoking cigarettes on this fucking boat ride. Garrett's so lucky he gets to go on a plane, first class, do what the hell he wants. I mean, I gotta deal with this bullshit. You know? Fucking bullocks, mate. As my cousin would say. But, you know, I finally got back to Miami, and then uh, now I gotta fucking get the hell out there and, uh...
Flying for me it was a hell of an experience after being under the clouds. Now I'm over the clouds. Uh, a thousand miles is how I had to go, and uh, it was a pretty good experience. It, was, it took like two hours. When as a truck driver, it takes me like uh, you know five days. <laughs> no, uh, as a truck driver, it takes me about uh, for a thousand miles a day and a quarter, and. Uh, the airplane trip really made me wish that uh, I could just get loaded and fly it there in an airplane. <laughs> All right. Gotta take a boat or a plane. Take a boat or a plane. Gotta take a boat. And folks, as much as you want to believe that show 66, Ryan How's Your Plums is a true story, it's not. It's absolutely not. It's all made up and fabricated. None of it's true. None of it's true, I promise. I promise. None of it's even true. Well, the bees are making a honey batch. So come on down to the paw paw patch. Walk up to the front door and lift the latch. When you leave, you'll have quite the catch. So come on down to the paw paw patch. Wrong radio show does not make pizza, but if we did, it'd be pizza like this and it'd be very good. And that is for sure. That's right. Wrong radio show does not make pizza, but if we did, it'd be real good. The hey Earl, where are you going? Well, I'm going on down to the paw paw patch because they's got some jam that just jams. Well, the bees are making a honey batch. So come on down to the paw paw patch. Walk up to the front door and lift the latch. When you leave, you'll have quite the catch. So come on down to the paw paw patch. <laughs> <laughs>